understanding to fall on deaf ears. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, to fall on deaf ears. This phrase is widely used in both casual and formal English, and understanding it can really help you grasp the nuances of the language. So, let's explore what it means, how to use it, and some examples to clear up any confusion. When we say that something falls on deaf ears, we're using a metaphor. Imagine speaking to someone who cannot hear you. Your words have no effect on them. Similarly, this phrase means that a warning, request, advice, or information is ignored or not taken into consideration by the person or people it's directed at. It's not about actual hearing impairment but about a lack of response or acknowledgement. The origin of, to fall on deaf ears, is somewhat historical and literary. It's been used for centuries in various texts, indicating that the concept of being ignored or disregarded is not new. Understanding its historical usage helps us appreciate its significance and durability in English. Let's put this phrase into context with some examples. In a family, a parent might say, my advice to clean their room regularly falls on deaf ears. At work, the manager's warning about the deadline fell on deaf ears, and the project was late. In society, environmentalists feel that their warnings about climate change often fall on deaf ears. These examples show how versatile the phrase is, fitting into various scenarios where communication is disregarded. To use, to fall on deaf ears, effectively. Be mindful of the context. It's perfect for situations where there's a clear ignore or disregard. Combine with descriptive language. Enhance your message by describing the consequences or feelings associated with being ignored. Practice with feedback. Try using it in conversations and see how it's received. Adjust based on feedback. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, to fall on deaf ears. We hope this video has shed light on its meaning, usage, and relevance in everyday English. Remember, learning phrases like this can add depth to your language skills and help you express yourself more vividly. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video where we'll uncover more secrets of the English language.